I figured I'd go ahead and why does my face look so red? Uh, <laughs> I have grow lights on that are over there uh, about 10 feet away. So just ignore the collar thing. I kind of got something funny I want to share with you. Uh, I've, I've had a lot of memory issues lately post chemo and radiation treatments and it got really bad and the last few days it don't seem like it's been that bad so the joke has been um, for all the friends and family who have been asking how I'm doing that it seems like the memory issues have improved at least I can't remember anything I've forgotten So it's been a while since I did a cancer update and um, the little short clip you saw about the memory issues was actually about five months ago and the reason why I haven't done an update um, or I guess in the last update I was talking about I was about to get my teeth which I got see yay um, and I'll, I'll talk about that here in a minute but um so I was about to get my teeth. I was about to get my chemo poured out, which guess what? Still isn't out. And uh, so the updates are that I did get my dentures and I've had them now probably about two months, I guess. And um, it's not like real teeth. <laughs> they, they look great smile yeah they look great but let me tell you functionally they are kind of worthless if you want to know the truth it's um i'm still adjusting to talking with them i feel like i am slurring my words or uh, you know it's just way different way different um and I'm on my fifth reschedule to have my chemo port taken out. So it is today, it's October 16th, and I talked about in, I think it was July, that I was going to get my chemo port out. And two days before I was supposed to get it out, I got a notice from the insurance saying that they denied the request to have it removed because the doctor was out of the network or the doctor was not in the network so then the hospital scheduled to have it removed like a month in the future which would be in August and a different doctor different location and about a couple of days before that was scheduled to be removed, again, the insurance denied it and said, um, this doctor is approved and within the network, but not at the, that location. <laughs> and uh, it kind of seemed a little weird. But anyways, so... The hospital rescheduled it again for 30 days out. So now we're at September. And uh, they scheduled it with a doctor that the insurance company recommended. And a couple of days before that was scheduled to be done, the insurance denied it again. And the reason was... Um, although that doctor was qualified and in the network, that location was not. So the hospital reschedules it again for 30 days out. And with the doctor, the insurance company recommended 
and at the location the insurance company recommended. And once again, guess what happened? Just a couple of days before the surgery, it gets denied again. And I'm pretty upset by this point. So I call the insurance company. And uh, I tell the lady, I said, look, this makes the fourth time you've denied the surgery. And I don't know if you realize this, but this port is supposed to be flushed every month. And because the port was supposed to have been removed, four months ago it has not been flushed at all and if I die due to a blood clot I'm going to make sure that my sister sues you for everything that you are worth and before I get off this phone we are going to have this rectified we are going to have this pre-approved to be removed at whatever location you say and whatever doctor or I'm not getting off this phone and if you deny it again I'm gonna remove it myself and then I'm gonna send you a big hefty bill so uh, the lady seemed at the insurance company a little concerned and she said she was gonna put me on hold and call the hospital and figure out what's going on and of course the hospital blames the insurance company and the insurance company blames the hospital and the insurance company comes back the lady from the insurance company says she talked to the hospital and this is the reason why she gave me that it was denied this last time at the hospital that the insurance company recommended and the doctor the insurance company recommended she said it was denied because of the distance from my house um, hour and a half drive and I said lady I live in a very rural area it takes me an hour to get to the nearest Walmart that cancer center where I had all my cancer treatments is the closest cancer treatment center to me and she apologizes and she says the hospital will be calling me with a pre-approved surgery at whatever date they have available and sure enough about 10 minutes later the hospital calls me with guess what a date 30 days out so I've been waiting five months to get my chemo port out and uh, now it's scheduled for November 9th and let me tell you something about this chemo port you know it was a good thing they want to take it out early right that kind of said that basically the doctors were confident that I was over the cancer and I tried to explain to the lady at the hospital and I used a story like this I said God forbid that you go on a vacation that you've always wanted to go to for your whole entire life and let's say while you're on that vacation something tragic happens to you let's say you're standing on the side of a mountain and you fall off of it by accident and you break every single bone in your body and thankfully you're alive right you still have your life but you have a very difficult recovery you've broken every bone in your body so let's say that over the next year you're going through this recovery and it's painful and it sucks but you finally see the finish line you only have one more cast left to remove and then you can put this experience behind you and you are grateful you're alive but you have all that pain that you've suffered for the last year and you just want to get it behind you so then let's say that you go to get the cast removed they schedule to remove the cast and the day before you get a notice that the insurance denied the cast to be removed so 
The doctors try once again to reschedule your cast removal for about 30 days in advance. And the second time, the insurance company denies your casts being removed again. And all this time, you have to carry this around like this is your last hurdle. And for four or five months in a row, the insurance company keeps denying your cast removal. So you're never going to get to that finish line. You're going to have to keep dealing with the reminder of all that pain and suffering that you went through because you're going to have to keep carrying around that cast until someone at the insurance company finally says, oh, we probably should let them remove this cast now. And that's kind of exactly the way it's been with this chemo port. I can't get past the fact I had cancer because every time I go to bed, my arm hits this, I roll over in the middle of the night. That's a foreign object in my body that my body knows is not supposed to be there. And every time anything touches it while I'm asleep, I am wide awake. So until this port comes out, my mind still thinks there's something wrong. And I've been going through this for five months. So anyways, hopefully on November 9th, I can update this port was finally removed. But in the meantime, at least I have these nice, pretty, worthless teeth. <laughs> Functionally, they suck, but at least they look great. So, that's my update. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.